Hey guys, Marsling in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and in today's video I just wanted to show you guys the uh, difficulty level of stage 100 for the Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA. So if you've been around the channel for a while you know that I always like to see just how far I can get in the EZAs and uh, Trust me, there's definitely a few people on my friends list that are much higher than me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know on the Super Saiyan 3 Goku one I show the friend leaderboard. I'm not sure if I did for the Kid Buu one. But anyway, sit back and enjoy seeing just how crazy difficult these stages are. And uh, yeah, let me know at the end how far you've got. So enjoy. Okay, so stage 100 of Kid Buu to start us off. Uh, gotta take the best Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta we can find. There was no rainbow one there, but a 90% one hopefully should do us okay. Uh, ooh. Starting rotation is very, very important. And this one is not great. I'm gonna have to put Goku there, really. Um, so we'll do this. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is incredibly important to super attack with him, which we're now not going to do with this one, which is very annoying. Because, yeah, unfortunately, even though he is the leader for Pure Saiyans, which the Kid Buu has a weakness to, he takes ridiculous amounts of damage. So, ideally, we want to get him in that third slot and just get him off the rotation. But with three attacks at the back, that was definitely not a good idea for this turn. And you will see why here, even after super attacking and raising his defense, 65,000 damage. This Vegeta unable to super, really need the additional to come in, or he's going to take even more than that. 45, oh well that's the 90% one actually, so yeah that's decent. I guess if one of them wasn't going to super, it's probably best for it to be him. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course one of the MVPs for this uh, event. Still taking... Over 30k though. Now, this is definitely an interesting development. So, using this Goku, obviously he's a great support unit. He has great links with the Super Saiyan 4s. But this can come in very handy because as long as we can get consistent supers. So the key... Oh, actually, let's get those. Save the reds for next turn. Uh, as long as the key is consistent and you can get super attacks, you're basically getting two turns of free damage. Um, which is great in the easy A's considering you can't heal. Um, of course the apes now get advantage of the hidden potential system. So there's the chance we could see crits and additionals. But basically we just get to do a whole bunch of extra damage for free. And uh, that definitely helps a lot. Once you get to this very high difficulty level of uh, stage. RNG plays a huge part. Um, things, every additional super, uh, every dodge, super, super important. Even down to things, like I said, the opening rotation. Like sometimes you can just tell when you get to this sort of level of difficulty, you can look at your opening rotation and just know that you're not going to beat the stage. So, I mean, double blue evolution Vegeta on the first turn was definitely not great, but this ape transformation could potentially have saved the run because we have done a lot of damage to him. And we've got Vegeta here as well. Now, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta actually is very, very good on this event. Um, it was only up until about stage 90, I think, where he now takes more damage than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, despite the typing. So he's been hugely helpful in this stage. So gotta give super attacks to everybody. Now, the only big issue is if he super attacks Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and we don't get the super counter, then uh, because of the typing, Vegeta will take a huge amount of damage. So, see if he can uh, either finish him off here or if he gets super attacked, get a counter. He didn't get supered, so I think Bardock should finish the job here. Hey. So, we managed to take him out. Uh, truthfully, I was I was wondering how long it would take me to record this video because obviously I don't want it to be crazy long with loads of different failed attempts. 
And uh, this was only the second attempt at doing this stage. So that is actually not bad at all. I'll probably keep going off camera just to see just how far I can get. But let's move on to the stage 100 of the go-to one. Okay, so stage 100 of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Easy A. And you can see I'm only rank 14 among my friends. I've got a lot of people on my list that like to uh, go all in and see how far we can get on these. Look at this. Miri's up to 146, 138, 37, 31. All the way down. Look at this. So many people above stage 100 already. And then there's me at number 14. So we'll have to see how well I can catch up. Maybe if this video does well and you guys want to see, and I can actually get that far, I'll uh, come back and do a stage 150. For, but to be fair, I think the only one I've ever gotten to stage 150 is the movie bosses. I usually only try and go for stage 100 on the rest of them. So, so I have such an insane amount of zenny, which I'll just never use. But I mean, the number's so long it goes off the screen. <laughs> Literally a zenny billionaire. But anyway. So let's jump in. So I've actually put in Tech Tapion based on looking at the lists that some of my friends were using. Unfortunately, once I got past a certain stage, um, LR Bojack just became pretty much useless. Like He could still hit fairly hard, but unless you were starting the turn on low health to, get, to take advantage of his increased defense passive, then unfortunately he would just get hit way too hard. So... I'm going to keep Cell at the front there. Oof, not a great rotation in terms of key. That green's going to get set, yeah. Uh, Alright, well if we're not going to super attack, I guess we'll just take that. I've put the rainbow one, the friend at the back, just because he's obviously going to be slightly better defensively. But, again, as I was saying, this is just like Pure Saiyans on Kid Buu, where... Angel Golden Freeze is the leader of the team, but he's like the worst unit on the team. He takes way too much damage. Look at that, 50... Oh, see, if he gets super attacked, it's basically GG. 264,000, there you go. So, uh, I'm going to... I'll leave that one in since that was a very, very quick loss. I cut out the first attempt at the Kid Buu one just because I got right up to the end and then lost. But... Considering that was all over very quickly, I'll leave that in. But you can see the kind of, uh, just like I was talking about with the previous one, how RNG comes into it massively. Having both of the freezers on the first rotation and then one of them taking a super attack is not ideal. This rotation, however, is great because we can put tech freezer there. So he'll take basically no damage. Then we'll give you those. And then the Tapion. Tapion won't do a huge amount of damage, but he will tank very well. Not so much supers, though. So if he's going to super in this first turn, ideally we'd have liked him to have super Golden Freezer, but no such luck. But even if Tapion does take the super attack, it's not going to be anywhere near as much damage as the Golden Freezer took in that last one. So, so you can still deal a decent amount of damage. Unfortunately, he just gets hit incredibly hard. Whereas Tapion... Won't deal a huge amount of, well, yeah, 150,000. But, yeah, gets hit for very little in comparison to other units. So, basically, we just want to constantly try and hide the Angel Golden Freezers. Either get them straight off the rotation or just hide them in a slot where they're not going to take a load of hits. So, Cell at the front being able to pick up six orbs is absolutely perfect. Uh, I would rather super attack with this Freezer just because... He has the type advantage. And then... Oh, we've actually taken no damage because of the orbs we picked up. So yeah, let's give my Angel Golden Freezer a super attack as well. So Cell definitely the MVP on this event. Obviously when this Super Saiyan 4 Goku Easy A first came around, Cell did not have his because Goku was the first person to get one. But yeah, fully Easy A Tech Cell on this event is just an absolute monster. As you can see, he took barely any damage. Did a huge amount of damage with his super attack. He heals when he super attacks as well, which is very useful in easy A events because you can't use items. That's why the tech transforming freezer is very useful as well. 
So any units that can give you that little bit of an edge is what you want. So here we've got Golden Freezer's passive still active. So we're going to hide the uh, Angel Golden Freezer at the front so he doesn't have to take tons of damage. And then we should hopefully be able to finish it off this turn actually. Very lucky as like I said, you, you I mean you saw the first attempt because I left it in but we uh, it's very easy to die very quickly and uh, if certain units take the wrong supers your run will be over so considering we actually did both stage 100 runs in two attempts I think it's actually very good so but anyway so there is the stage 100s of the Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku Easy A uh, looking forward to the next one which I think I think we get the AGL Broly one first when the movie banners first drop and then the str gogeta one comes just after that i believe is how it happened on jp so stay tuned for that i'll obviously be streaming the uh, easy a when it first drops and then trying to get as far as i can off camera and maybe do another video like this if you guys want to see it so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the marceline again smash that like button and subscribe if you are new Follow me on Twitch and all my other social medias or join my Discord. All the links are in the description. And uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments how far did you manage to get if you have tried to get further than all 30 stages. Or if not, that's all good too. So I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.